Sabrina Carpenter, your favorite, <laughs> your fa Bay. Bay. No, there's uh, only one Bay in my life. That's true. That's true. All right, let's see. Uh, please, please, please is the name of this track. Uh, let's hear it out. You Ba-boom. guys are going to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting that out. I'm ready for the two for like 18 seconds of this song. Uh, oh, d- come on. It's are, good. It's okay. good. Giggin says it's good. So listen, all the gig heads in chat, you got to come out and support the song, whether or not you would like it in the They're chat, just for it. giggins. All okay, right. you you got to support it. Hey, you know what? I'll I'll keep an open mind. Hey, you know? Too. It's I will a sweet also keep, song. I will also keep an open mind. Yeah. I just think lyrically, conceptually, Mia Espresso is a little just annoying. Oh, that's and kind weird. of like her thing, though. It's like... <laughs> oh, that's, oh, oh, God damn it. Um, okay, L- let's let's just see. Don't don't say that. Now people are going to anticipate the song being annoying. It's the you espresso. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's just see what this has to offer please 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 be good all right okay it's all talking heads isn't it right yeah like those scents yeah little guitar i know i have good judgment i know i have good taste it's funny and it's ironic that only I feel that way I promise them that you're different And everyone makes mistakes But just don't I heard that you're an actor So act like a stand-up guy Whatever devil's inside you Don't let them out tonight I tell them it's just your culture And everyone rolls their eyes Yeah, I know All I'm asking, baby Please, 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 don't prove I'm right. Please, 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 don't bring me to tears when I'm just in my makeup so nice. Heartbreak is one thing, my ego's another. I beg you, don't embarrass me, motherfucker. I liked that. Right? I liked that. Right? I liked that quite a bit. Thanks, everybody. I liked that quite a Thanks bit. Thanks for amusing me for two minutes. I, I thought it was I thought it was surprising. I thought it was creative. Yeah. Uh, the vocals were cute. Yeah. I thought all of the extra little ad libs and harmonies were creative and kind of unexpected as mm-hmm. well. Not like, you know, basic and straightforward, you know, little um uh, quirked up there. Uh, I liked how, even though it was like very much a very direct synth pop song with some throwback elements especially on those guitars and the synth patches yeah uh, it was a slight country undertone to it. it was a little country yeah you know in a way that felt kind of authentic it didn't clash in a really hideous way and in, yeah. in a way it could have cool um blend of genres yeah the lyrical descriptions were cute and, and i know some people were kind of like a little um 
taken aback by it or annoyed by it. I, I feel like I'm just slightly annoyed with like the discourse around like Olivia Rodrigo, Billie Eilish, this, like any pop artist around that age, wh- wh- like when they say the F word. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're, oh, you're swearing so now. So edgy. Oh, you think you're, oh, you just think you're so edgy swearing, don't you? It's like, honestly, I, I want more of that. Like if Casey Musgraves put out a track like, suck my dick, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. You fucking bitch. You shit, bitch, dickhead, fucker. I'd be like, shit, this, this is a banger. This rocks. It's track of the year right there. This is awesome. Like if Billy Eilish Casey. was like, Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck you, you fucking bitch on, on a track. I fuck with that. Casey gonna put you in the Musgraves. <laughs> like, if Olivia Rodrigo on her next track was like, fuck you, cunt. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll kill Christ. you. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with murdering your ex. <laughs> I'd be like, I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'd play the hell out of that song. That'd I'd be play awesome. The, I'd, I'd play the shit out of Olivia Rodrigo It'd telling some so motherfucker good. to fuck off. It'd be great. <laughs> be great. Be awesome. What one of my favorite you, you remember uh did, did you were you a fan of the offspring back in the day? Of course. Where, did, yeah. Smash? Yeah. Yeah, Smash, yeah, yeah. My one of my favorite songs when I was a kid was the Road Rage song. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you go. Where they, where they have the whole vocal break where he's like, you stupid, dumb, dumb shit, goddamn <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> like if Olivia Rodrigo did that shit, I'd be like, awesome cool see that's the thing too what a weird context because those guys were in their early 20s doing that stuff and here right. she is in her early 20s doing the exact same thing right and they weren't trying to be edgy yeah they were just like it's just we, how we talk we just feel like some dumb motherfuckers being dumb yeah and fucking tell them to shut the fuck up <laughs> which i mean pop stars feel that way too but I mean, you know but like it's it hasn't been up until now that like you know they could they could be a little ooh, it's a little more and, common and, now and be a bad girl which like, is fine could you imagine christina in like 2000 dropping the f-bomb yeah, or, or, or britney or britney you know it's like well i mean that's kind of the thing like you know so much so many of the documentaries and you know all the biopic footage and deep dives into britney and everything like yeah. from her whole life during that era like so many of the dynamics and all the angles are about like how squeaky clean she needed to be all the yeah, time and the right. way she needed to present herself as innocent and young and this and that. And the moment that she did not even swore, just like did anything weird, yeah. literally anything weird. It was like the whole world fucking melted down. Even when you Toxic know? came out. Right. That was people lost their minds when that video came out. Right, right, right. The, the thing is like that song today just seems like super normal. It's so and common just, like, now so regular like it's a great song yeah you know but like nowadays that song seems like just kind of regular by one of the mill. pop standards but like at that time she was like that was legitimately her being yeah. edgy um for her time so uh, you know if, yeah. if, if, if sabrina carpenter wants to be like your motherfucker that's yeah. fine let her do it let her do it she's just having a good time that's cool you know yeah <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe now your your girlfriend will say motherfucker i don't fucking know <laughs> you know um, it, you know, look, it's, uh, it, 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 uh, there are moments where, and somebody's referencing Taylor Swift, like, you know, look, yeah, th- yeah, there, there are moments where any songwriter can just say the F-bomb too many times, or it just kind of seems like unnecessary, you know? But like at the end of the line that she drops that mf her on, it, yeah. it's a cute it, it context. It's funny. You know, it's a little cheeky. I think it's tongue in cheek. It is tongue in cheek. She's obviously not trying to be edgy with it. She's trying to be funny. It's you know, like it's when you like, rip you rip hey, on your person, you know. Motherfucker. Yeah, you know? right. It, she's being, and she, she says it silly. stupidly too, like it's part of the joke. Yeah, she she adds that little drawl on it. I think what people know? forget is you can have humor in music that's slightly not taken seriously, but still humor, be a good. Humor in music is just not taken is, it's is such just a not taken I don't say taken seriously. Days. It's it's not received. Or understood well a lot of the time. Yeah, the humor in music is not received very well. But that's what time. makes a lot of music stay relevant for a very long time. Is you put a little bit of humor in there, it, it connects better with an audience. Sure, but maybe not this time. All right. Um. Well, with my audience, with your audience of, of lonely, <laughs> sad men. Um. <laughs> you know. Uh. But uh, you know. Look. Talk with your tribe. See if they're vibing with the. Uh, <laughs> the new Sabrina. <laughs> the new Sabrina Carpenter. Sorry, guys. Because I I liked that. You know, a, a, a Mi Espresso, uh, but they, this was great. Love that song. Um, Denzel